E-Bike Motor Whenever you've heard about it, you've definitely come across the never-ending discussion on hub drive and mid drive. Well, these are not just some random tech terms. Choosing one of them can really make a big difference in your ride. And if you've looked around even a little, you'll see a lot of riders on both sides battling over hub drive versus mid drive. So, what's all the debate about? Knowing the difference helps you figure out what kind of ride you're signing up for. So let's keep it simple and get into what really sets them apart. First up, the hub drive motor. This is probably what you picture when you think of an e-bike motor. It's literally built right into the center of your bike's wheel, either the front or the rear. Think of it as a self-contained unit that spins the wheel directly. Now, how does it work? Pretty simple. Inside that hub, you've got copper windings and magnets. When electricity flows, it creates a magnetic field. And boom, the hub spins, propelling your wheel forward. It's a direct shot of power. But here's where it gets interesting. There are two main types of hub motors. Direct drive hub motors. These are the OG, no internal gears, just the motor directly spinning the axle. They're usually bigger, heavier, and need more battery juice to get going. But the upside, they're virtually silent and fantastic for high top speeds, like those Class 3 e-bikes hitting 28 miles per hour. Plus, some can even do a tiny bit of regenerative braking, though don't expect miracles there. And then, there's geared hub motors. These are the more common ones you'll see. They've got a clever set of internal planetary gears, usually a 4 to 1 or 5 to 1 ratio, that reduce the motor's RPMs but significantly boost torque. What does that mean for you? More power at lower speeds, great for stop-and-go city traffic. They're also lighter and, crucially, they have a freewheel, so pedaling without assist feels much more natural without that motor drag. The trade-off is that they can be a bit noisier due to those gears, and those gears will eventually need maintenance. And then there's placement. Front or rear. Front hub motors sit on your front wheel. They're super easy to install and can help balance the bike's weight. But they generally offer less power and can struggle with traction on steep hills. And the rear hub motors are on the back wheel. They give you that traditional push feeling, offer better traction, and generally more power for hills and off-road. The downside is that servicing the rear wheel can be a bit more complex. Now, let's talk mid-drive. This is where things get a bit more sophisticated. Instead of being in the wheel, the mid-drive motor is centrally mounted in the bike's frame, right at the bottom bracket, where your pedals and crank set are. The key difference is that it doesn't directly spin the wheel. Instead, it transmits its power through your bike's existing drivetrain, the chain, the gears, everything. This is a game changer. Why? Because it can leverage your bike's gears. When you shift gears, the motor can adjust its RPM, keeping it in its most efficient range, no matter if you're climbing a mountain or cruising on the flats. Mid-drive motors generally deliver significantly higher torque, making them absolute beasts on steep hills and for carrying heavy loads. This is a direct benefit of their ability to leverage the bike's gear ratios. When it comes to efficiency, mid-drive motors are the clear winner. By working in conjunction with the bike's gears, they can consistently operate within their optimal RPM range. This leads to better power transmission efficiency and often provides a longer range from a given battery size compared to hub motors, as less energy is wasted. For example, a mid-drive e-bike might offer over 40 to 45 miles of range on a single charge and like 31 to 43 miles on hilly routes. Hub motors, especially direct drive types, are generally less energy efficient overall and can require more battery power for adequate range as they cannot leverage the bike's gears for optimal efficiency. Their range tends to be more limited due to energy loss through friction. Typically, a hub drive motor might offer 25 to 30 miles of range, but that could drop to 18 to 25 miles on inclines. This means a mid-drive motor can offer 10 to 15 miles more range than a comparable hub motor model. Now, hub motors are generally more affordable, easier to install, 
and often require less maintenance, especially the direct drive ones, due to minimal moving parts. While they can be very durable, direct drive motors may overheat under sustained heavy loads. Servicing rear hub motors can also be complex due to their integration with the wheel. Now, for the downsides of mid-drive, a more complex design means more complex and frequent maintenance. Plus, because they're directly interacting with your chain and gears, those drivetrain components are going to wear out faster. So, factor in more frequent replacements for your chain and cassette. However, mid-drive motors generally feature enhanced heat dissipation, contributing to greater durability and reliability, even under strenuous use. And, of course, changing a flat on the rear wheel is a breeze, because the motor isn't integrated into the wheel itself. Now, in terms of the price, this is where hub motors shine. They're generally the more budget-friendly choice, both upfront and in terms of ongoing maintenance. Mid-drives are a bigger initial investment, and they will cost you more in the long run due to increased drivetrain wear and more complex servicing. Hub drive motors are ideal for casual riders, commuters, and those primarily riding on flat, well-paved surfaces. They are favored for their simplicity and affordability. Front hub motors, specifically, are well-suited for city riding. Direct drive hub motors are popular for e-moped-style bikes due to their high RPM and top speed capabilities. Mid-drive motors are best suited for riders seeking advanced performance, versatility, and efficiency, particularly for hilly, off-road, or challenging terrains. They also excel in applications requiring long-distance travel and heavy-duty transport. Mid-drive systems often offer strong customization and upgrade potential. Their modular design allows for easy upgrades, such as changing the transmission system, adding gears, or integrating advanced controllers, making them suitable for professional customization. This is less common or more complex with hub motor systems due to their integrated nature. So, the big question, which one do you need? And like most tech, the answer is, it depends entirely on your use case. If you're a casual rider, a commuter on mostly flat terrain, or someone on a tighter budget, a hub drive motor is probably your best bet. They're simple, reliable, and get the job done without breaking the bank. An e-bike with a hub motor is ideal for urban cruising, light errands, or just enjoying a leisurely ride. But if you're an off-road enthusiast, tackling steep hills, carrying heavy loads, or simply demanding the most natural, high-performance riding experience, then a mid-drive motor is absolutely worth the investment. This is for the mountain bikers, the long-distance tourers, and the cargo bike users who need that consistent, powerful assist. Ultimately, there's no single best motor. It's about aligning the technology with your specific needs and how you plan to ride. Both are fantastic pieces of engineering, just designed for different purposes.